I'm Daisy, our Aligarbes Daub is my husband's family name. I'm from Digo City, that's an hour away from Davao. Uh, I'm a practicing architect for almost 13 years and I'm also a graduate of Philippine High School for the Arts in Mount Makiling. So I've been doing sculpture works, paintings. So right now, I'm currently busy doing metal works and um, woodworking. So my passion really is to work with my hands and also to diversify on different materials. So entering this boot camp uh, makes it even more interesting because it's going to be a new material, an add-on material to the things I'm doing, right? The first time I heard of the boot camp, I got really interested with working literally with bamboo because I find the material to be sustainable because I keep on working before with metals, with um, wood, and um, working with wood these days has been very difficult because we lack uh, supply, especially in the construction, because it had been limited you know, all the years now. So when I found out about bamboo, uh, I needed to learn about its um, properties because I wanted to build uh, with this new material na may alam ako how to go about it, what are the properties it has, what's its strength. So, yung nag-inquire ako about the boot camp, I asked what the course will be. So, since it started with propagation, and then how you treat it, which is one important thing, and then how to manipulate it in terms of building with it, or working with it in terms of furniture or other stuff. So, that was one, um, parang, one selling point na I got hooked with a boot camp. And then, yung ibang tao nagsasabi, ang mahal naman. Lots of them. Why would you enroll in that expensive boot camp? Tapos sabi ko, I think yung info or yung knowledge na makukuha ko firsthand, um, identifying all those kinds of bamboos, kasi we're not limited to one, is parang ano, enough na siya for the amount to learn those different kinds and its properties, yung different purposes niya. Kasi you don't get it in school. I've, I've studied architecture for five years, but um, details, properties on dif different materials, especially sustainable materials, was not really included in our curriculum. So going deeper into a specific material was one plus point na eh. And then plus the fact that your, your speaker or your resource person nyo was uh, is an advocate of the material itself. So um, I get to relate with him easily because he's also an architect. So things we do on the ground, um, mas madali intindihin. Then he speaks our language as builders and as designers. So isang factor din yun. And then, um, I've been with Tesla also before. I've been a welding trainer. So, um, doing this kind of hands-on training is a big yes for me because I really want to learn things with my bare hands. So, yung ganun, gamay na gamay mo siya. Um, from the day na nag-start yung program, and then I was texting all my friends na ganto, it's not really a waste to spend this kind amount of money. Na ingit na rin siya. So I think I think this program is really good to start off with. I was choosing with the basic and the mini workshops. I go for the, the intensive training, the 10 day training. All the modules is important to the whole process because we cannot stay I, I mean we can stay as builders but we have to understand where it's coming from and how we make it sustainable along the way because we cannot keep on designing without the product itself so the whole program is 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 complete na eh, di ba? so from the point na ipa plant mo siya or how to propagate it and how to build it and how to continue the supply the treatment uh, it's very good. The program was designed really good. 
For the course, I really like it because it was designed wherein you go parang slowly increasing yung intensity ng training. So, yourself is being prepared for much more on the last part. So, um, for the resource person, um, it's, it's very good because they themselves are using it, are building with it, and are doing the propagation and treatment. So, hindi yung puro nabasa ko lang, ganto lang. I mean, you get the content from a real person na gumagawa talaga. Uh, mas reliable siya. It's getting out of the box eh. So, your mind is exploring. It's becoming open. So, maganda yung environment. And with the birds chirping and all. So, you're beginning to ground yourself again with nature. The, the course, the 10 days, I think it's just right. It's not too long, it's not too short. Uh, enough gist of the, the, the material, the bamboo life. When I go back to my place, I'm planning to introduce this plant for tree planting. Because I've been, um, I've been doing tree planting with the LGU, with other organizations. And what we usually plant are those um, hardwood trees or that one. Seldom do I see that we use bamboo as tree planting material, and I think it's an important material that we don't we don't uh, leave behind. I think it's one mobilis na sustainable material. Now we should be do doing planting na because yun nga na discuss natin. In ten years, you could harvest it and you could regrow another one. So mas mobilis eh, and then. Um, a normal tree could take how many years before it builds? And you cannot cut it and use it, diba? So, for a, a plant or a tree na may purpose ka, bamboo is really good at it. And then, um, di na tayo mag-import. We have our own resource na. And then, um, people will, I think, appreciate it more because cost-wise, sinasabi nila nga na dapat cheap lang siya na material, but the problem right now is the supply. So, we need to address that first because we can't do all these things without the supply of it. So, yun yung isang step ko and then magre-re-echo ako sa mga uh, apprentices ko, sa mga workers ko uh, to, to look into this material again and start, um, start improving or shifting a little of the design works we do. One word. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> speechless, right. positive speechless. Huh? Wow. <laughs>